Look, I mean, look, I don't give a shit about some grown woman wearing a diaper in, in the space. <laughs> the bitch wore a diaper. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear about it. What I want to talk about now, seriously. I know they got the Betty Ford clinics out there, you know, rehabilitation. They got to have something for Twitter. The, the computers are. What, what, this thing here triggers it? Well, whatever, it's a lap, whatever. But I, like I said, I got to have some kind of Twitter rehabilitation center. Oh, man, I can't stop. It's killing me. So see, it's checking into that tomorrow morning. Now you know. All right. All right, people. Um, I've hit rock bottom. And what I mean by that is, I was introduced to Twitter about a week ago, and I can't stay off it. I mean, I I sit there and I go on, and I'll pull over on the side of a road, a busy road. I'll just pull over, motherfucker. Matter of fact, at an intersection, I sat there and I tweeted or tweeted. I would not stop. Nothing would stop me. I can't stop. It's a disease. And the thing that enables it is having a cell phone. Because you do it right from your cell phone. And I need help. I need help understanding why. I've hit rock bottom. I used to make fun of these people on Twitter. I used to be like, who the fuck was? Hey, you remember that shit? I'm like, who the hell wants to be on Twitter? It's for fucking nerds. I said that. I said that. But now look at me. Pulling in parking lots, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, for an hour. For an hour. Answering Twitters. What has become of me? Now I know they have a Betty Ford clinic somewhere that helps people with drug problems. This to me is worse than a drug problem. I mean, I pulled over on the side of the freeway the other day and sat there for 22 minutes and I started answering Twitters or tweets, whatever. What has happened to me? The shit is addicting. And, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't stop. And, um, I can't stop. I want to know the problem. How is this so goddamn addicting? I mean, I used to laugh at these people on Twitter. I'd be like, man, come on, man. You on Twitter, man. You a grown-ass adult. You're on Twitter. And I'm like, no, that's me now. I mean, I see women doing it, and I'm like, well, who, that's women. But I'm a goddamn male, and I'm Twittering. Or tweeting, whatever you call it, I don't know. And I notice all the other people out there on tweet, Twitter, whatever, they do the same thing. Like Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, he's like me. He talks to his fans all the time. That's why I like Chad. Chad's my boy. But then you get them phonies out there, like the LeBron Jameses, who, who looks like when he tweets, it's like a little business to him, just to say he does it. Because he really don't like to do it or interact. He just wants to say, well, I did it. And it's usually just advertising when he has something to say. He ain't got nothing personal to say. It's just advertising in a little commercial. But, I remember, what, last, what was it? About a week, what, Friday night or Saturday night, I was up till 5 in the morning. Usually this day, Thursday, I was up till 5 in the morning. Tweeting. I want to know if there's any type of rehabilitation center out there or something that can help me with this shit. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be caught in this world. This violent world of web, whatever you want to call it. Web browsing, tweeting, whatever, tweeting. I don't want it. I can't do it. But I do enjoy it. But I, you know, I have a question for Chad Johnson, my boy Ocho. You have millions and millions of dollars. There has to be a million other things you could be doing than being on Twitter. But see, that's what makes Chad, like me, down to earth. Because he don't give a flying fuck. Get into my commentaries for this weekend. I ain't got nothing planned yet. I'm going to get you some up tomorrow. And then Sunday. But as fans out there that watch my videos, what do you want from me? You want a sniper gameplay? You want a gun game? You want I don't even want to play sticks and stones because I can't fire that damn whatever it is. That bow and arrow, I can't do it. I'm terrible with it. Ballistic knife, I'm terrible with it. Could lead to some good commentary, though. Me being pissed off. Zombies, I don't want to play zombies, but I will. Just tell me what you want. I almost thought about getting the goddamn intervention out and go to Modern Warfare 2 this night. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Because you know when I snipe, I like to run around and treat that sniper gun like an AK-47 or S-74U. That's what I like to do. So you let me know. And then I'll go through the comments in the morning when I wake up. And I'll see what you want me to bring you. 
More than likely, I want to do a sniping gameplay. Because let's face reality, man. I'm getting tired of just playing the game straight up, man. You know what I'm saying? T playing the game just with my um, FAMAS or whatever the hell I use, whatever gun. I'm getting bored with it. I'm too goddamn good at it. I need a challenge. So what you want me to do? And if you know any rehabilitation centers out there for becoming a Twitter whore or whatever, let me know. But I will say this. Um, oh, one last thing. The twit zone. I got a Evo, the Tweoid, whatever. Whatever. Twitter or whatever. Droid, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. They suspended it. I used to love that, that application, whatever. It's gone now. So now I'm using the basic one, which is still good. And they got Tweetcast or whatever. I really don't want to buy the 499 one because I don't even need to buy the 499 one. If I buy that one, what the fuck? I don't want to be stopped in the middle of traffic no more. I got to get a hold of this, man. So like I said, I'm pulling over. I'm, I'm not going in traffic. I'm just sitting in my car, people going around me. I just don't. Enough of the tweeter shit, man. Whatever. I'm refraining from it. But I can't. It's like a goddamn drug. It's a disease. But anyway. Let me know what y'all want tomorrow. I will accommodate you. You vote whatever. I'll read and see what y'all want, whatever. Tomorrow, when you look at it, I know I ain't shaved or nothing like that. I didn't cut my fucking hair. Usually I keep my shit pretty tightly shaved. It's getting long again. Not long, but tomorrow, I know. But tomorrow, you got to check into it for real. There's got to be alternatives. I can't be stopping my car in the middle of intersection tweeting. I can't be pulling over parking lots. I, I can't do it. I won't do it. Can't live that way. Won't do it.